Welcome back to Trigger Point Tuesday. Today we're going to talk a little bit about IT band syndrome. We get quite a few questions and what we see is that there's a little bit of a misunderstanding about what's going on. So oftentimes I get emails, phone calls and such and they say my IT band is tight and how do I fix that? Well the first thing we need to understand is that the IT band is not necessarily a separate piece of tissue. It's not a separate muscle. It is simply a thickening or an extension of that tensor fascia lata. So what it's made for is to provide frontal plane stability uh, whenever we're walking and running. So in essence, it's supposed to be tight. And that's not what the problem is. The problem comes from something in the hip, typically, or something down in the foot. So for example, we see a lot of people that have a flat foot. Now, if that foot flattens too quickly, internal rotation is good, but too much or too fast is not, then we'll see that this tibial internal rotation here, that can put pressure or compression on the IT band. We can see that a rigid foot, so if that tibia does not internally rotate, that also can put pressure out here on the IT band in some of these structures. Or if we have some sort of a, a lumbopelvic hip complex dysfunction, so maybe a lack of stability, a lack of strength, or something such as that. And then what we see simply is that it's compression of the highly vascularized and highly innervated uh, fat, pieces of fat tissue that are underneath there, and other pieces of connective tissue. So actually in a study in 2007, they found that the whole rubbing, people say that that IT band rubs right there, they find that that's very, that has very little to do with IT band syndrome, and it's more so compression. So what that tells us is we can't go right after the IT band if we want to create any change. So what we're going to start off with is the grid foam roller. We're going to first go after the TFL, and this is stuff we've done in the past, but we're revisiting it. We're going to go to the TFL, then we're going to come down the vastus lateralis, and then we're going to go here to the glutes because we need that to stabilize that IT band and that function of the leg. So let's start off by putting this right on the TFL. So that's basically where the hip is going to bend, and I'm at, at about a 45 degree angle. So as soon as you get here, if there's a problem with your TFL, you're going to notice that it's nice and tender. I want you to hold and breathe for about 20 to 30 seconds. But remember, that's going to help influence the nervous system, but we have to create that tissue mobility. So once we get that, a little bit of reduction in the pain, then I want you to add in knee bends. So again, as we've done in the past, you could do up to four knee bends, and then also that internal rotation. So hopefully you can see how my foot is here and I'm letting that foot fall out, which is internally rotating my hip. Once I spend a little bit of time there, I'm gonna stay at this 45 degree angle. So I'm not going up to 90 to roll the IT band. I'm staying on that front edge of the IT band and I'm gonna to start to work up that vastus lateralis. Once you get to the muscle belly, basically, you'll notice that it's very tender. So we're going to stop. Be sure you breathe, add in those four knee bends. Remember, we're reintroducing that tissue mobility and then add in those internal rotations. So what that's going to do, that's a shearing force to literally try to shear that IT band back off the vastus lateralis because that's typically what the problem is. We need those sliding surfaces to actually be able to slide. Once you work all the way down that vastus lateralis, right on the front of the IT band, then we're going to come here to the glute. So we're going to position the glute right in the middle of the grid foam roller. Now you can cross this leg over, that's going to help open up the hip and you can go a little bit deeper, which is perfectly fine, or you can take the leg down. Now here it's going to put the glute, or it's going to, going to allow that glute to be a little bit slack, so that way we can make a little bit more change. Also see people go down to this position, that's perfectly fine as well. So as we're here, hold if it's nice and tender. Once you start to see a reduction in that tenderness, then we're going to start to add in that movement. So you can roll forward and back four to five times, being sure it's nice and controlled. Then we can gain leverage here with the foot and this arm and do a cross friction side to side. So IT band syndrome, first start off with the TFL, then go down vastus lateralis, then address the glute. Now, if you try to add that into a, or to add in a dynamic warm-up with that, 
with any sort of a movement pattern, be sure you're maintaining the, those kinetic chain checkpoints. So the foot and ankle, the knee and the hip need to be in that proper alignment to reduce that extra compression that we see out there on the IT band. In addition to that, since we know that we have to be nice and hydrated for the tissues to slide across each other, be sure and stay hydrated. So give that a shot. Let me know what you think. So be sure and post your comments up on Facebook. And we'll see you next week for Trigger Point Tuesday.